hello welcome to another video tutorial and today we'll be talking about customizing your apache guacamole themes in a previous video i showed you guys how you can make basic customization to your apache guacamole using the en.json file however today we are going to customize our apache guacamole using a theme the difference between the last video and this video is first of all with the last video that was for a lot of you who don't know how to program using CSS or HTML or maybe you just want to make basic customization or changes to your Apache guacamole and you don't want to get into a lot of research and doing a lot of work but this video if you know how to program in simple HTML or CSS or even if you just understand CSS um, and you can read up about HTML and CSS you can get this going because I already have a template that you can take and make changes on top of that template and then you can have your own theme ready in a few minutes or hours. The good thing about creating your own theme is that even if you were to upgrade your Apache Guacamole or if you have multiple Apache Guacamole instances, you can just copy this jar file which is kind of like the extension files that we've downloaded as part of this series and put it in your extension folder and once you refresh or restart your apache guac d service and tomcat your theme completely changes as you can see here i have a test lab apache guacamole which i've loaded one of my teams on and you can see we have some branding going on here i changed the login page quite a bit and i added a logo at the top and I added a contact page and about page. So if I click on the contact page, you can see it redirects me to my gigtogether.com contact page website. So if I head back to the home page of my Apache Guacamole, I can log in here as Guac Admin. And if you see, I have made some basic changes to inside of the um, home page when the user logs in i have the menu bars colors changed to black and i have the colors of the text for the connections changed as well the same with the hover bar the color is different and if we go to the settings you can see all the buttons and um, the sub menus are all changed you can change as many things as you want to change in Apache Guacamole as long as you know how to do HTML and CSS. So without going too deep, because if we want to go into a lot of detail, this video might be longer than expected. And I know the long videos can get really boring. So I'm just going to show you guys how you can get this thing going in a matter of minutes and change some stuff that you may want to change using my already created theme template remember at any time if you need help with your environment creating a custom template you can contact me and i will try as much as possible to help you with the way i can depending on how much time i have so now that we have that out of the way the first thing in order for you to be able to customize my theme is for you to download the jar file that I have in the link description below once you download that jar file you want to open it up on your computer using a software that can view zip files in my case I am using 7-zip so once you get that opened up so once you get that jar file opened up like I have here so I'm just gonna open once you have that open you're going to see I have a couple of folders in here there's a CSS folder HTML folder images folder meta dash INF and translations and most importantly our guac dash manifest JSON so before I start showing you guys what these folders are we need to understand the internal file structure of our branding um, which is geektogether.jar file so the css folder hosts our css file if i open up this file this is where we have all our custom css code that 
we use to make changes or manipulate the way our web browser or the way our web application in this case which is guacamole behaves in certain ways which includes the menu page colors the text colors and so forth the next file structure we're going to talk about is the images folder in this images folder we have our guacamole logo if you look at the login page of my guacamole app we have the logo inside of this images folder so this is where guacamole knows to find our logo inside of that jar file the next thing we have here is the translation which includes the different translations you have for your Apache Guacamole. For me, I have just the en.json because I speak just English. And if you have multiple languages, you can edit them and add them in here as you like. So inside of the en.json, we only have our name of our application. So this is the app name that is normally displayed below the logo here at the home page of your Apache Guacamole. The next thing we're going to talk about, which is very important, is the guac-manifest.json file. This is the file which ties all the parts together. So all these different parts of our branding or our geek together theme.jar file, this is the little file or JSON file that ties everything together as you can see it includes the guacamole version which as of now i have it to 1.5.3 you can change that to your current version or if you want it to work for all versions you can just remove the 1.5.3 and put an asterisk and that should be fine and you can see it also has um, the name and the namespace of our uh, branding.jar and then it includes or tells guacamole where to find the translation files and tells it where to find html files which we'll talk about in a little bit if we have any javascript files we can also tell it where to find it and our css file and then our resources which includes our logo and browser icon so now that we know about the file structure we're going to talk a little bit about the html part of this template so in apache guacamole you can use html files that you create on your own to edit or manipulate the existing html structure of apache guacamole to do this you're going to create your own html files which are going to contain um, html fragments of code that you may want to use to change setting blocks or setting things in how apache guacamole behaves and displays stuff like you can see here normally apache guacamole doesn't include this header at the top and i added this by using a custom html code like we have here so this html code just says that before um the login dot login dash ui um, and the login dash error we should add this html code we have here so normally if you try to log in without a username and password or with an incorrect username and password there is usually an error page that shows at the top so in this case we're telling apache guacamole to display this block of code which is our navigation bar um, on the login page right here before the content um, CSS selector dot login dash UI P dot login dash error sounds easy so this is something that you can do and customize in your own environment and maybe if you want it you can also add something below here on the footer using HTML code you can also use HTML code to make changes to other parts of guacamole so I have a documentation linked in the description below where you can read on how you can do HTML modification on your Apache Guacamole using uh, the meta name, which can be anything from before, after, replace, before children, after children, and replace children.
and it also includes the content um, which is going to be the CSS selector in that documentation you can read more about it um, it is not too in detail but I think um, if you know how to use HTML or if you're willing to learn how to use HTML and CSS this can be a good project for you um, to be able to customize your Apache guacamole the way you want it um, apart from this I have another extension here or a branding template which includes um, policies inside of your Apache guacamole so if I log in right now you can see that there is nothing we just have the two menus in here the recent connection and the all connections so once again we can use HTML templates to manipulate how this screen display stuff and add or remove stuff completely so with this my other branding template here I have a policies section added after the all connections so which is right here after all connections I have another menu added on here which displays acceptable use policy privacy policy I mean you can use it for anything or you can add something else on there you can add pages or add um, links to other pages in, in your environment or other websites in your organization and so forth so I'm just going to test that other theme here real quick so now that I loaded that other extension and restarted Apache Guacamole I'm going to re-log in and once I log in again you can see now that I added an extra menu below here with a privacy policy link and an acceptable policy link you can also use html and add it to this menu if you didn't want to add that on here you can add it as part of this um, user menu right here so now that we have the html portion out of the way um, we are going to talk about other things so heading back to the CSS this is where I think a lot of you will be using to customize your Apache guacamole if you just wanted to change the background colors and the way the theme itself looks without adding features like we've seen using HTML so if you look at my CSS file I tried as much as possible to put notes in here um, but it is pretty easy to identify what any of this is doing even if I don't have notes so for example if you head back into this screen your browser if you're using Chrome or Firefox you can use the developer tools to be able to know what you want to change and how to change it so for example right now I have the menu colors to black so if you wanted to change this if I right click on there and I select inspect we can see here this is called header so if you kind of like put your mouse on these classes, um, you can see that it shows on the left hand side what they are. So for the header, which is right here, we can see for CSS, it's on the right side, the styles. It's for right now, we have the background color set to black. So you can set this to red. So what we're doing is basically testing it on our browser to see how we like it before we go change the code in the um, jar file or the theme file that I have created so red um, we have that red notice this below is not changing because that is for my custom CSS file um, so sorry for my custom HTML file that I have created to modify this page but for the link I have in the description section below it doesn't include the HTML file for this so you're just gonna have this too so anyways this header we can change it to the color we like once you determine what color you like what you can do is you can copy all of the CSS that has to do with the header head back into the CSS file and paste it in here but for me I already have that so if you are using my theme make sure before you 
paste CSS code in here to make changes. You can search and make sure that I don't already have it. Like for the head, I already do. So you just need to change this color um, to the color you want. So you can you copy this, just the color right here, and then you paste it in there. And that applies for everything else. So if changing your Apache guacamole theme is something that you want to do, using this method is the best way because you can make more changes and customize more things that way so once you have all that completed and you've made all your changes notice i am doing this within 7-zip so i recommend you use 7-zip for this so once you're done making all the changes you can just head back to where the folder is um, which in my case here is in the downloads folder and you copy the jar file and all you need to do is head back into your um, guacamole instance using SS, SSH or SFTP. Transfer that file into the Etsy slash guacamole extensions. You just need to put that file in there. And then you're going to restart by using sudo systemctl restart guacd and tomcat9. And once you restart that, your changes that you have made should persist okay um, so I hope this video helps you to be able to customize and create your own theme using the template I have in the description section below if you have any questions about basic or some other things you might want to customize in your Apache guacamole and you're struggling with um, you can post it in the comment section below. I will try as much as possible to help you. But this is something that you can play around with and use it as an opportunity to learn how to do CSS and um, HTML code. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions specific to creating or making your own theme using my templates, you can leave it down in the comment section below. Or you can head over to the Geek Together Hub and post a question. I hope this video helped you guys and make sure you do not forget to like the video, share the video and please subscribe to the channel.